Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. This is Don. Hello. We are locally world famous chiropractors in Orange County. Locally world famous. She should sing it louder, I think, every time. Just Locally world famous. Like, like a crescendo. <laughs> uh, we're going to cover uh, two self-tests for hip impingement today. Ones that you guys can try at home if you're wondering, hey, do I have hip impingement or is it hip flexor syndrome or maybe I have trigger points. And So this, these are good tests to see beyond a reasonable doubt if you have some hip impingement, but also it'll give you some insight into what will work. Because if these tests work, we like to differentiate them, we say, and if your pain reduces, even partially with the addition to the test, then we know that most of you will respond well to a rehabilitation type of approach versus um, uh, like a, a passive care tissue work and things like that. Mm -hmm. By the way, those aren't bad, they're just not always needed in these cases. So, um, if you are wondering what the heck is hip impingement, we'll cover it a tad here, but if you want something more detailed, we do have a little link in the corner. It's a little circle somewhere on the corner of this video. It'll take us to the channel, and when you go to the channel, there's a little bar. The bar's like, hey, type something in me, and just put hip impingement, and it'll say, hey, watch all these videos. But we're going we're gonna to demo this here. You got the demo hip impingement last time. So yeah, do this time. he didn't want to flex his hip for me. So. Yeah, he's going to flex this time. I see he's ready. So hip impingement, basically, it's, it's again, within the crease area right around here. So it can drop a little bit lower. And sometimes it travels down into the thigh here, too. And so what happens most of the time, and so this is our Bob Norman. And so I'm going to help Bob Norman with bending his hip forward or bringing his knee to his chest. And so at some point, he's going to run out of real estate here on the front side. And so this is not a great model for this because we got this little metal thing in the piece. But when he starts to come up, he'll imagine there's a little bone right here and it just kind of impacts it, you know. He'll eventually run out of real estate, and we all do. Hey, he is hit. He is hitting. See that bone hit the bone? Okay. And there's stuff between there, too. There's some soft tissue. There's some labrum. There's some cartilage. There's stuff in there. And so usually this will just piss the area off. Um, it doesn't mean you have arthritis or anything because there's bone hitting bone. It just means that there's literally thing kind of pinching in there. That's why we call it hip impingement. So let's go over the two self-tests. And by the way, can you get better without surgery? Yes. Yes. Can you get better without medication? Yes. Yes. Quicker than you think, too. Mm -hmm. So you just need to be able to have someone who does good testing on you and good recommendations of care. So uh, do you want to be the examiner or the patient? You down. Me up. All right, so one of the ones we do in office that you guys can try on your own to do at home is so I'm going to have you grab this knee, and I want you to pull it into your chest, but I want you to try to take it towards the opposite armpit for me. Good. What do you feel there when you do that? I feel a pinch right in there. Okay. So when you find that pinchy point, I want you to stop right there, and I want you to do a little sit-up for me. Same, better, or worse? Better. Okay. And when you go back down may or may not return. But what this does is this is a differentiating thing. We are now just bringing the core or we're involving the core in this and saying, okay, well, if that helps with your pinchy symptoms that you're feeling, maybe the core is something that we need to take into account in your treatment plan for this. You know, I know some people like they'll, when we do this test, they'll kind of like haphazard, like they won't really go up and they still have this rib flare going on. Mm -hmm. They'll kind of come up and look at you, but really want it. You know, you can even try to pull this a little closer to your face mm -hmm. and the core will light up and that pain will go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Cool. So is this a test that people should know? Like, what's it called? This is the, no, that's not Fadir's. What is this? It's like a self-scour test. Scour's test. Yeah. So basically we're, we're kind of pinching and rubbing on those structures that Seb mentioned in the beginning, finding that pinchy point and then bringing a different muscle into account and seeing if it helps it. Yeah. Go ahead and line your back. Okay. So a lot of these orthopedics tests, um, again, if you're wondering what an orthopedics test is, it's, it's what um, an examiner such as us, chiropractors, physical therapists, medical doctors, orthopedics, they'll use to check out the area. So it doesn't have to be exclusive to an orthopedic will do this to you. So bring that one down. Um, and, and honestly, not a lot of people dynamic test. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see, like, it's like, okay, scours test, yep, boom, positive, hip impingement. But it's nice to see what will work. And that's why we like to add the dynamic aspect to the test. And so I'm gonna bring you through a different test, which is common. Um, there's usually about a cluster of three that if they're positive with 
the recreate the hip pain, then we know that it's, it's usually like a, a hip impingement or like a labral issue. Now, do you need an image for this? No. No. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's nice, it's extra information. Um, an x-ray will show parts of it. Um, an MRI will show parts of it. Uh, an arthrogram is the standard, but usually we don't want people to do that unless they're on their way out to a surgical intervention. And so most people, I'd say a good 9 out of 10 people, don't need an image on this. Um, by the way, I know we just talked about labrum. How do you know if it's a labrum versus a hip impingement generally? Uh, popping and clicking. Painful popping and clicking. Okay. Painful so, popping and clicking. Painful popping and clicking. Does this hurt your hip? No. Let's say it did. Yes, sorry, yes. Let's just say it did. <laughs> Okay, so all I did was rest her ankle on her thigh here, and let's say it did. Give me that little sit up again. Good. Does that hurt? Mm -mm. Good. It doesn't hurt. And so, a lot of times, like this was like, hmm, maybe it's a coincidence. Did it come back? Yes, it did. Do it again. Hey, it went away again. You're right. That might be a coincidence again. Do it again. And so, if we start creating a pattern here, then it's like, oh, this is a true test. Okay. Um, granted, there could be a little sloppiness of does she raise her, does she raise this up more, or does she drop it down more, uh, right? Um, but this is also a self-test. Mm -hmm. Usually, in office, we'd be a little bit more diligent with it. So, what's the what do people need to do if they have what if this what if this took their pain away? What 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 next? We just made a video of what to do next. Actually, we did we did this. Video. If you searched our channel and looked at um, four best exercises for hip impingement, you guys can try those exercises at home and see if it helps you. Um, but also. Sometimes people just need a little bit of guidance. Having us help guide you can be something that can get you better a lot sooner. Um, so what you can do is we have a free gift for you. Basically, when people watch our videos, they want to know what do I do next, they reach out to us. So we have created a gift for you guys. You can click on it if it pops up onto the video. If not, it will be in the description below. Just click on that link. That free gift is basically cool. All right, these self-tests, yes, they worked for me. Um, they, you know, I found a positive. What do I do next? Follow that. Okay. If you guys want to come and see us, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do that. You can see us in person. We're located in Orange County, California. Um, come and see us. We'd love to help guide you through it, or we can do it virtually. We are working with, um, I think I'm working with a couple of hip impingement people right now virtually, and it's really easy because we can just take them, um, through their virtual exercises and it's been working really, really well for them. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, reach out to us. We would love to help you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Subscribe, like, and share.